Java juice from Ogus Cantina to start it all. Delicious with those warthog eggs right there, and you can hear right there, DJ Rex playing away. I think I found my favorite non-alcoholic drink from Ogus Cantina. It is the Java juice. I really do love it. It's um, kind of like, it's, how do I describe it? It's, it's listed in the menu. I got two hands full, though. But look it up, Java juice, Ogus Cantina. It's delicious. It really is the best non-alcoholic drink that I've found so far at this amazing spot, but you know it's about the atmosphere. If anyone dumps their cargo, doesn't pay what they owe, or delivers their shipment late, you will be placed on the dock list. Ah, dock on or do dock list. Da touch. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> So many small details here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge that you just gotta look back and really appreciate. Look at these lamps up above. They're all different shape. Every single one of them, something unique. Look at that square one right over there. Really cool. And I've always loved these kind of small speeders here. You remember, you know those cars they have for kids that they drive on the sidewalk sometimes? They're the electric ones. They look like real cars, but they're just electric. I mean, I wanted one as a kid. You can see they basically have the same thing for Star Wars vehicles, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Imagine a small child playing with one of these. And it's like an electric car, like driving along on some shopping center in Coruscant. There it is, perfect kid's toy. You can see the popcorn stand has returned here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They've got that really special spicy popcorn here, and they've got the standard popcorn over there. Absolutely love it. Check out the Boba Fett mask here. I haven't seen this one yet. You can see you've got like the talking button right there where you can actually talk as if you're Boba Fett. And then down here, you actually have his jetpack right there and some of the weaponry on his arms. I had not seen this yet here inside of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Very cool. I wonder how much this costs. $34.99. Again, not the full helmet. See, it's only half. Just the mask. It's got this little, you know, vision where he aims the rocket, basically, with that thing. But it's very, very cool to see. Love the gauntlet, too. That's awesome. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Picara. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance scum. If you haven't seen it before, it's just hard to fathom how amazing this area is. I'm just going to say, we're inside the ship, right here. There's a long line over there, so we've got an extra moment just to take a look right here at these troopers. Here we go. We're moving out of the hangar bay, checking out some of those stormtroopers you can see. They're lined up perfectly. It's just, it's just they're so cool. It's so cool. You actually see the leader one right there. Got that extra piece on his shoulder right there, indicating he is indeed the leader. Going up. Kind of wanna, kind of wanna take that Tie Fighter. Not be a good time. No, no. Got to go into interrogation. You have what I want. Tell them it's the transfer. Tell them I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. <laughs> And the resistance. See up above there, Dockside Diner? Those flags apparently, I think, spell out Dockside Diner or something about Disney, but the flags have, you know, they mean something. Each flag means something. So I believe it spells out Dockside Diner or Hollywood Studios or Walt Disney World, whatever it is. That's really cool. Now it's the golden hour here at Hollywood Studios. You can see Sebastian and Flounder looking extra golden with the sunlight hitting Flounder. Perfectly, right there. Let's check out Joe Gardner. He's looking extra golden tonight. Look at Joe Gardner. I always love the piano keys right here. See how they kind of like, trying to show you. Yeah, you can see at the edge there. They're like broken apart at the end to show that they're really floating in the air. 
really great. Love the golden hour here at Disney. It's when the sun is setting and you just get that kind of sheen of gold. We're here at Rock and Roller Coaster. You can see the headlights are on this car making its way. Coming down from that guitar, but wait a minute. The guitar is covered with scrim. Let's check it out. You can see right ahead of me that guitar is being redone or updated right here at Hollywood Studios for Rock and Roller Coaster. I love Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith, so I'm hoping it's sticking around. It's just a refurb, but only time will tell. There have been rumors for years about Rock and Roller Coaster changing to other things. You know, Monsters, I think, was the most popular one. Monsters, Inc. to replace Rock and Roller Coaster. I, I, I'm having second thoughts about that. Rock and Roller Coaster is just such a classic. It's so intense. I love the music, the rock and roll about it. I mean, I think Monsters, Inc. would be fun you know, with all the doors and everything, and the idea of that is fun, but it's not Rock and Roller Coaster. I think this is one that definitely should not change. Just ask the cast member, they are only repainting that guitar. So those rumors that you may have heard about Rock and Roller Coaster being completely redone, as of right now, not happening. Confirmed. However, it doesn't mean that the future won't change. Things won't be different. We don't know, there's no way to know. But I love Rock and Roller Coaster. 75 minute wait today, so we're not riding it right now, but it is one definitely to experience. Okay, something is happening here at Hollywood Studios. We're seeing this very special projection for the first time. Walking over, I'm very excited. Let's watch it. So cool. Answer the call. Answer the call. I heard it. Very, very cool here at Hollywood Studios. Look at that projection. Wow, I have a feeling it's gonna run all night. There it is, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Looking fantastic, covered in gold. You can see it almost looks like a, a giant ballroom all over. You can see there's a window up at the top right where we saw some uh, some folks up there dancing or something like that. Don't know what they were doing. You can see all around, just glittering gold all over the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Really fantastic to see. And I, you know, I can see the small details that you'd see with other shows here at Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood Tower. Really have very small details throughout the entire thing to appreciate. Look in that upper right window, you can see a lot of guests up there dancing the night away. Wow, that is so cool. So after speaking to a cast member, it looks like that's it. It's the projections. It is nice, I do like the projections. But to be honest, for the 50th anniversary, I was expecting a bit more. I, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a, it's an excitement and then that's it. I mean, I like it. I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I do like it, but somehow it's something else, right? Like a little show that goes with it. You know, like the continuous shows we see for the holidays on the Tower Hotel. That is so cool. You see like, there's a Muppet one, there's another one. It's very cool, but this for the 50th would be good. Maybe they'll bring it around later in the year, some other show, not sure. Hmm, we'll see. Under no circumstance am I saying that I don't like it. I do. I think it's cool, but I feel like even more intense for the 50th would have been really cool. Now, they do have these maps, too, which they, I imagine, will be handing out for the entire 18-month celebration. That's just my guess. But do like the maps and hoping that there's some kind of show maybe later on. Maybe like some special holiday tag for the 50th. Something else. That's just my, my two cents on it. You know, everybody's got an opinion about these things, but more intense would be fun. For the 50th. Now, as I'm thinking about some of these new things we're experiencing at Walt Disney World, thinking of Harmonious Enchantment and the um, the new show here at Hollywood Studios, or new projection at Hollywood Studios, it's easy to say, oh, I wish that things were like they used to be, right? Where it's like, I miss Illuminations, and I'll be the first person to tell you I miss Illuminations, and I do. But it, I think it also takes time to, to make these changes. So sometimes, we've seen this before at Disney, a change is made, strategy has changed and it doesn't work and then Disney changes it and that's that's that and we're all happy about it so I think that I guess what I'm saying here is that sometimes these things take time to get just right so I have faith I'm looking forward to it I am excited about the future that that's just a way of thinking I think I'm very excited about the future and I really do believe that we're gonna see more intense shows 
that we've been talking about for a while. Again, before you know it, it takes some time, but they will return, I have no doubt. Things that make us feel, and the emotional connection to these shows is just one of those things I really do miss, but I really do believe they're coming back. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks as always for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Yeah.